There you go. A little over one minute. Here you go. You can do it. The goal of Science Gone Wild is to get students excited about science. That's the overarching goal. Basically, we're trying to take UC undergrads and ask them to be group mentors with students from um, schools from the surrounding area. So we have schools coming here from Grossmont, from San Diego Unified, and from Sweetwater. And there will there are going to be different groups. Uh, the undergrads are going to be mentoring them as they go through and complete different activities and hopefully talking with them about college. For instance, one of our activities is actually straight out of Roger Chen's lab. It's on fluorescent proteins. So they're going to be uh, learning about fluorescent proteins in relation to, uh, I think, light dispersal. And so they'll be looking at how different colored filters affect the way that fluorescent proteins um, manifest. Um, another uh, activity that we're doing, this wonderful uh, one right here, they're going to be, uh, this is put on by Neurosciences Outreach, and this is going to be uh, basically looking at different types of brains, and then they're also going to be uh, trying to figure out, you know, what does this particular part of the brain do, uh, both identifying its place and function. Basically what I hope that students will take away is an excitement about science and a renewed interest in all of the different uh, fields of science and uh, I hope that their eyes are open to the different types of science that they might be able to study and especially in college and I'm hoping that it, it will make them think more about their options as far as college and especially coming to UCSD. I thought the brain table was really interesting and the kids really liked that one. Um, also, I believe there was one that was something, some cardio workout. I don't know if it was like jumping jacks or something. That was fun to see how tired people got. The interactive aspect of it was, was really beneficial for everybody. I did want to study science before, but seeing how many different facets of it, how it can be found in just about anything, that definitely made me want to do it even more and seeing how it affected kids who might not have taken an interest in it before that sparked me even more because I was like okay this this is this could work 